Hey crazy friends, it's Jay and Francis with Find Your Crazy. Uh, coming to you with a very different but very special video uh, this week. We're kind of departing from our normal travel vlog uh, to actually share our oldest daughter, uh, Anley, her wedding uh, with everybody. Uh, and the reason is that uh, her wedding ended up because of COVID being literally an immediate family only uh, event, very few people there. Uh, and so many friends and family wanted to experience it and couldn't. Uh, so this is just a great way for us to share that with them. And then also with our YouTube community, just because we have been talking so much about the wedding yeah. uh, over the last couple of months because it has had so <laughs> much of an impact on our life. Um, Everything. Uh, affecting our travel plans, the things we're doing. Uh, and so we just wanted to share that uh, this week, uh, Anley is uh, our oldest daughter. Um, she was our very first, of course, um, born in Texas uh, when we were there in seminary, which is kind of like graduate school for <laughs> pastors. Uh, and she has always been um, a independent, yeah. um, ready to launch, um, ready to be an adult, Start her uh, life. even from you know the youngest age. <laughs> uh, and so when we decided to go full time on this adventure, um, she had just finished up her college, and um, she just Got said. Her you know, job this is great for you guys, but I'm really ready to start my life. Yeah. Uh, and Letting she her was. Dream. Um, she was. And so uh, she stayed back, uh, and it wasn't very long after that uh, that her boyfriend at the time uh, <laughs> asked her uh, to marry. And Yay. so uh, they got engaged, and we were so excited about that. Yeah. And we began planning the wedding, uh, and then um, <laughs> COVID. COVID. I mean, yeah, you can kind of sum it up in one word: just yeah. COVID. Uh, and so we ended up changing and changing and changing and moving it, moving it, moving it. And, and so ultimately, um, we got it done. Though on August the first, um, she uh, and Larry were able to uh, get married. And yeah. so we just wanted to share that with you. You know, it was really difficult um, for all of us trying to plan a wedding during a pandemic. Um, that was really challenging, as many brides who are going through this this year know. And so with all the changes, it was just kind of a special time when we gathered together. My daughter had wanted to get married at my parents' farm, but at the original time when we were playing this wedding, she wanted 200 people and I thought there is no way I can ask my parents to host a 200 person wedding at their house um, and so we didn't even ask them but after the changes happened one after the other and disappointments began to mount my mom and dad called and they offered their farm to Anley and Larry to be married there in a small intimate wedding ceremony and so it was so sweet after disappointments and frustrations and highs and lows and cancellations it was just such a precious time as we gathered together to see that the Lord had planned for her to be there all along. Her dream had come true with the man of her dreams and just having family together. It was such a special time um, for all of us. And so we just wanted to share those moments because sometimes when we're going through the struggles, it is so challenging to even see what the finish line is. And so the beauty totally outshined all of the struggles. And so we wanted you to see a little bit of the beauty um, behind Emily and Larry's wedding. And it was also a great day uh, for me. Uh, many of you know yeah. that I'm a pastor, uh, and so when all of this happened, we of course asked That's Emily, so what what do you want to do? Do you want me to walk you down the aisle? Do you want me to conduct the ceremony? What what do you want me to do? Um, and she said, I would really like for you to do both. I really want you to do the <laughs> wedding, but I really want you to walk me down the aisle. Uh, and so I got to do that, and of course you'll see that uh, here in a minute. So uh, we hope you enjoy this uh, and are blessed by as much as we were. Come celebrate with us today.
may be seated. We are gathered here together as friends and family in the presence of God to join Larry and Anley in the covenant of holy matrimony. The Bible teaches us that marriage is a holy institution, that it was established in heaven by the divine wisdom and kindness of God, who said the two shall become one. We read in Genesis that he that made them in the beginning made them male and female, and yet made them incomplete without each other. So God said, For this call shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and the two shall become one. Marriage is a beautiful picture of Christ's sacrificial love and unwavering bond to his people, the church. And today, as we witness this union, I pray that we each reflect on our own lives and remember the great sacrifice that our Savior made on the cross as his ultimate expression for love for each one of us, giving of himself so that we each might live. And it is for this wonderful institution that her mother and I give her on this day. Let us pray. Father God, the one who created us each male and female, the one who has called us to this ordinance of marriage, we ask today that you will bless this ceremony. May we, may what we see and hear today remind us of your son and his bride, the church. And as we proceed, keep us mindful of the covenants that we make here today. For we know, God, that you are watching. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. As the Apostle Paul so beautifully guides us in the meaning of love, we read in Corinthians that love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. Love is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. Love does not rejoice in the wrongs, but it rejoices at the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Truly, love never ends. Larry, do you solemnly agree before God and these witnesses to take this woman to be your faithful, lawfully wedded wife, to live together after God's holy ordinance in the state of matrimony? Do you promise to love her, respect her, honor and cherish her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others to keep yourself only for her so long as you both shall live? I do. Anley, do you solemnly agree before God and these people to take this man to be your lawful wedded husband, to live together after God's holy ordinance in the holy state of matrimony? Do you promise to love him? Respect him, honor, and cherish him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others to keep yourself only for him so long as you both shall live. I do. Please join hands. Larry, repeat after me. I, Larry. I, Larry. Take you, Anley. Take you, Anley. To be my wife. To be my wife. And in so doing, and in so doing, I commit my life to you. I commit my life to you. Encompassing all sorrows. Encompassing all sorrows. And all joys. And all joys. All hardships and triumphs. All hardships and triumphs. All the experiences of life. All the experiences of life. A commitment made in love. A commitment made in love. Kept in faith. Kept in faith. Lived in hope. Lived in hope. And eternally made new. And eternally made new. Anley, repeat after me. I, Anley. I am Lee. Take you, Larry. Take you, Larry. To be my husband. To be my husband. And in so doing. And in so doing. I commit my life to you. I commit my life to you. Encompassing all sorrows. Encompassing all sorrows. And all joys. And all joys. All hardships and triumphs. All hardships and triumphs. All the experiences of life. All the experiences of life. A commitment made in love. A commitment made in love. Kept in faith. Kept in faith. Lived in hope. Lived in hope. And eternally made new. And eternally made new. May I have the rings? Though small in size, these rings are very large in significance. They are made of precious metal so that they will remind us that love is neither cheap nor common. Indeed, love may cost us dearly. Made in a circle, their design tells us that love must never come to an end, that we must keep it continually. Larry, please place this ring on Anley's finger. And repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. This ring on Larry's finger. 
and repeat after me. With this wing, ring, <laughs> <laughs> Ivy Wed. Ivy Wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. As you wear these rings, whether together or apart for a moment, may they be a constant reminder of the glad promises that you make on this day. Sand is a common substance on our planet. It is as bountiful as the stars in the sky. In fact, God promised Abraham that he would make his descendants as numerous as the stars in heaven and the sands on the sea. A container of sand has many grains, just as each person is multifaceted and complex, made with many talents, many abilities, many strengths and weaknesses. When two marry, they join all of these things together. As the sand in these two containers is poured into the third, the original individual sand no longer exists, but becomes one new color. They are joined together. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured out again into their individual containers, so will Larry and Annalie's lives together be as a married couple, intertwined as they become one flesh as God has blessed their relationship. Let us pray. Our Father, whose presence brings happiness to every condition and whose favor sweetens every relationship in life, we pray that you will be present and will favor Larry and Anley throughout their life, that they may be truly joined in the honorable estate of marriage. As they have been brought together by your providence, sanctify them by your spirit and grant them a full understanding of their new relationship. Enrich their lives with your grace that they may enjoy the comforts, undergo the cares, endure the trials, and perform the duties of life together under your guidance and with your protection. Through our Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. We're going right hands. That hand. Oh, we're not done yet. There you go. <laughs> Don't get ahead of us. <laughs> may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and give you peace. May your joys be as bright as the morning, your years of happiness as numerous as the stars in the heavens, and your troubles but shadows that fade in the sunlight of God's mighty love. May you ever for be, ever be each for God and both for each other. Mm. For as much as Larry and Annalie have consented together in holy wedlock, as witness with each of us and before God on this day, and therefore, having given pledge their faith to each other and having declared the same by giving and receiving rings and by joining hands, by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel and a dad, <laughs> by the laws of this state of Alabama, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And what God had joined together, let no man put asunder. You may kiss your bride. Yay, amen. <laughs>
Yeah.